faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Lane and Clark Kent. Give me a follow up on this bullet car story. Attention. Attention. The destruction of your police station today was only a small demonstration of our power. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, power plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. Take heed. This is your last warning. What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? We won't be intimidated by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. <laughs> This looks like a job for Superman.
morning, Lois. Another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. to witness the takeoff of the first manned rocket to outer space. We pick up the count. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero! We're off to visit the planets. There are treats galore in the stars. Venus is loaded with candy. And ice cream is found upon Mars. The soda pops isn't on Saturn. When you're thirsty, it sure is the spot. And Jupiter's really jumping. With pop on this buttered and hot. But the best of them all is the planet. Where all of these treats are at hand. We'll meet them on the road. Got a good chance to. Calling crowd. Yes, Your Excellency. I was just about to call you to report that we are about to put our ray gun into operation again. I have another mission for you first. Do you have an atomic bomb strong enough to start a volcanic eruption in the Mount Alta crater? Yes, but an eruption in that mountainous area would do very little damage. On the contrary, it will do a great deal of damage. The present atmospheric conditions on Earth indicate that the eruption would cause torrential rains, and the resulting flood should seriously disrupt transportation and defense measures. An excellent idea. We shall carry it out at once. Very well. Then start an intensified campaign with the ray gun. Earth's defenses must be completely broken down before we can risk an invasion from the moon. Yes, Your Excellency. Heard the orders. Charter a plane and drop one of our atomic bombs into the outer crater. Nature will do the rest. Okay. When do we do it? At once. I will get you the bomb. Go. 
goes. start that eruption. They certainly got results. Well, somebody must have started it. That volcano has been dead for years. Took quite a blast to get it going again. An atomic bomb dropped from a plane would seem to be the only answer. You know, Commando Cody thinks that maybe... How'd you make out? I think we're on the right track. The second airport I checked had charted the plane on the day of the eruption to two men, answering the description of Graeber and his pal. Then we're right. They're the ones who bombed the volcano. Looks like it. Yes, but that doesn't help us catch them. Couldn't you get a line on them? The names and addresses they gave were phony. But I did get one break. The airport manager borrowed these matches from Graeber and forgot to give them back. Al's Cafe. That might do us some good. It at least means they've been there. And if we're lucky, they might be regular customers. So let's go and look to join over. Right. If we hear anything, Joe, we'll give you a call. Yeah, I know the guys you mean. They come in here pretty often, but I don't know their names or anything about them. Well, if they show up, I wish you'd call me. Oh, sure. I sure will, Mr. Cody. Thanks. Try to follow us, I'll give it to him quick. your pal, Mr. Cody. You gonna call the cops? I don't dare to. They'd kill him, sure. him down there. You're right. And as soon as he can get to a phone, he'll have the cops on our trail. The road to Clark Mountain is just up ahead. We'll hide out there until Claude can send us another car. Calling Krog. Calling Krog. Come in, Graber. We just had a run-in with Cody again. Our car is hot. 
We'll have to have another one. Where are you? We're heading up to Clark Mountain. We'll stop before we get to the top and wait there. Very well, I'll have another car out there as soon as possible. What do you think they'll do to it? Oh, it's hard to tell. They'll certainly hold him until they pick... Cody Laboratory. Ted, where are you? In a gas station on Highway 17. I jumped out of the car and gave them the slip. Good work. Now we can go after them. Where are they heading? They were going up the Clark Mountain Road. I'll use the rocket suit and try to find them. Okay, don't worry about me. I I'll come a ride back to town. Phone the police and tell them to block the highway on the other side of the mountain. Right. Police headquarters. Can't get here for a while yet. Get through, give yourself up. Try not to get too close to him. But look, I... Don't argue. Do what I tell you. Don't move. Drop your gun. Where's Graber? <laughs> 